memory plays a very important role in a computer. In fact, without memory, a computer is useless. And there are two types of computer memories, primary memory and secondary memory. But before we discuss details about the types of computer memory, first let us see the units of computer memory. Just like solids are measured in grams and kilograms, liquids in milliliter and liters, computer memories also can be measured in bits and bytes. A bit is 10 for binary digit is the smallest unit of computer memory. So here this table will show us the details of the units of computer memory. A bit is equal to 0 or 1. 4 bits equal to nibble and 8 bits equal to 1 byte and is equal to 1 character. And 1 kilobyte or KB is equal to 1024 bytes. It's about 1000 character. And 1 megabyte or MB is equal to 1024 kilobyte and it's about 1 million characters. Then 1 gigabyte or GB is equal to 1024 megabytes and is equivalent to about 1 billion characters. Then 1 terabyte TB, then comes petabytes PB, then exabytes, zettabytes, yottabytes, brontobytes, and so on. So this table shows the details of the units of computer memory. Now let's move on to the types of memory. There are two types of computer memory, that is primary memory and secondary memory. First, we will see about the primary memory. Primary memory is often known as the working memory or the main memory of a computer system. A computer cannot run without primary memory. And RAM and ROM are two types of primary memory. They are made up of semiconductor materials. So RAM, which stands for random access memory, and these are the RAM chips. And now let's see the types of RAM. The first type is dynamic RAM or DRAM. It is inexpensive and popular. And there are some subtypes of dynamic RAM. There are SDRAM, DDR, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4. Then second types of RAM is static RAM or SRAM. This is very efficient and fast but very expensive. Then the third type of RAM is magneto-resistive RAM or MRAM. This is the latest type of RAM which uses magnetic charges instead of electrical charges. Okay, these are the types of RAM. Now let's see the ROM. This is also another type of primary memory and ROM stands for read-only memory. These are the ROM chips. And now types of ROM. First type is PROM, programmable read-only memory. It's a blank ROM chip which can be programmed using microcode instructions. Then comes the second type, EEPROM, erasable programmable ROM. Content can be erased by ultraviolet light and then reprogram. Then the third type of ROM is EEPROM, which stands for electrically erasable programmable with only memory. The microcode can be erased with an electric signal. So there are three types of ROM. Now let's see the difference between RAM and ROM. Both are primary memory, but they have some differences. So let's see RAM versus ROM. So RAM is, it stands for random access memory and ROM it stands for read-only memory. And the RAM, it is a volatile memory, means it is a temporary memory. The contents of the RAM should be gone once the computer is switched off. And for ROM, it is non-volatile memory, means it is a permanent memory. The content will remain there whether the computer is switched on or off. And RAM, it is a read and write memory, whereas for ROM, it is only read only memory. Data in RAM can be modified, whereas data in ROM cannot be modified. Its capacity can be upgraded in a PC RAM. Its capacity cannot be upgraded. It is costlier than ROM. It is comparatively cheaper than RAM. 
it is used to store the data that has to be currently processed by CPU temporarily. It stores the instructions required during booting up of the computer. Its types are static RAM, dynamic RAM, and magneto assisted RAM. Its types are ROM, PROM, EPROM, and EEPROM. So these are the difference between RAM and ROM. Now let's go to the other type of computer memory, the second type of computer memory, that is secondary memory. So it is used to store data for a long time. It is a non-volatile memory. It is also known as backup memory. This is hard disk. This is a picture of inside of a hard disk, interior of hard disk. This is external hard disk, pen drive, memory card, compact disk or CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk, and this is cloud storage. So we will see all these types of secondary memory in detail. First, let's start with hard disk. The hard disk or hard drive is the computer's main memory. It is fixed inside a computer cabinet and stores operating system and other applications and programs. It is a disk pack that consists of many inflexible circular platters that use magnetic particles to store data, instructions, and information. Most current hard drives have storage capacity from 500 GB gigabyte to 8 terabyte or even more. Then comes the external hard disk drive. An external hard disk drive is just a hard drive or solid state, solid state drive SSD that is connected to a computer on the outside rather than inside. External hard drives come in varying storage capacity from few gigabytes up to terabytes, but they all connect to a computer by USB cable. Now, optical disk. There are three subtypes of optical disk. First is compact disk or CD. Its uh, size is 4.7 inches in diameter. Storage capacity is 700 MB and its types are CD-ROM and cd rewritable. Then DVD or digital versatile disk. Capacity is 4 gigabytes up to 7.5 gigabytes. Types are DVD-ROM and DVD rewritable. Then Blu-ray disk. Its capacity is 100 gigabytes. Now come flash drive. I hope you all have seen and most of you might have already used this flash drive, also known as pen drive. It is a lightweight and portable storage device that plugs in a USB port on a computer. It has a storage capacity ranging from 1 gigabyte up to 128 gigabyte. It can transfer data at a very high speed. Then memory card. A memory card is removable storage device, usually no bigger than 1.5 inches in height or width that we can insert in and remove from a slot in a computer, smartphone, or card reader. With a memory card reader or writer, we can transfer the stored items such as digital photos, music videos, and other files from a memory card to a computer. And its capacity is more or less same with the pen drive, that is from 1 GB up to 256, 120 or 256 uh, gigabytes. And this uh, memory card is more used in smartphones rather than computer nowadays. Then comes the cloud storage. Cloud storage is an internet service that provides storage facility to computer users. Advantages of cloud storage we can access our files on the internet from any computer or device that has internet access. A user can store off-site backup of data. We can allow others to access our files on the internet instead of sending the file to them. We can view time-critical data and images immediately while away from the main office or location. For example, doctors can view X-ray images from another hospital. So these are the advantages of cloud storage. Now let's see the difference between primary memory and secondary memory. These are the two main types of computer memory. The difference between primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory it is called the working or main memory of the computer system. For secondary memory, it is also known as auxiliary or backup memory. 
it operates at a faster rate than secondary memory, it operates at a slower rate than primary memory, it is of two types, volatile and non-volatile, it is permanent in nature, that is non-volatile, they are made up of semiconductor material, it is used to store data for a long time, RAM and ROM are examples of primary memory, examples are hard disks, CD, DVD, memory card, pen drives, etc. Primary memory can be directly accessed by the CPU. The CPU cannot directly access the secondary memory. Storing capacity of primary memory is limited, whereas secondary memory are capable of storing high volume of data. So for today, we will wind up here. I will come back soon again with a new topic.